We're just about ready. Gates go back. They are off and racing. And that was a nice start for them. Cold facts, as expected, straight off to the lead. Midnight Gem is right there in second. Lollapalooza is racing away in third. Then we go three lengths away to Silver Winter. Golden Aspen is only five or six lengths off them. Rockets Red Clear, Alabama Anna, and Aga Heat's going to have to get past them all. So Cold Fact going flat out has gone five lengths clear. Midnight Gem is in second. Then comes Lollapalooza, Golden Aspen, Silver Winter, Rockets Red Clear, Alabama Anna, and Aga Heat is about 12 lengths off the leader. So in front is Cold Fact, about seven lengths clear. In second now is Golden Aspen, then comes Midnight Gem, but in front over here, and not showing any signs of stopping is Cold Fact, still eight lengths clear. In second is Golden Aspen, out the pack and chasing, but Cold Fact is still five lengths clear. Out the pack on the inside, Rockets Red Clear. Then comes Golden Aspen. Cold Fact is starting to slow down, and Rockets Red Clear takes off, and that's it, race over. Rockets, Red Clear, Cheeky win. Cold Factors run second. Golden Aspen in third and Midnight Gem in fourth. Yeah, heat. All right. So there we go. Cold Facts to let seven lengths over the field going past the 300. But Rockets, Red Clear now pins the ears back and yeah, she comes. Takes off. Always been a nice horse. I know they've always thought quite a bit of Rockets, Red Clear. We all remember that first win and uh, slowly showing signs of coming back to that form cold factors run second golden aspen in third and midnight gem was in fourth congratulations to the winning connections there's some lovely footage coming through of malasela kacheri on the eye catching rockets red glare to come and fetch cold fact that last 50 meters So congratulations to the connections of Rocket's Red Glare. She's uh, come home smartly when uh, Cold Fact was on her bike and she was uh, walloping them 300 metres left to go. But that weight told in the end. You've got to look at those weights all the time. She uh, was receiving as many as uh, eight kilos. And Malasela Kacheri, a full effective use of that one and a half claim. You're lucky you still got a claim. Um, and you're lucky because uh, I'm saying that because lots of trainers will use you because of that claim. And then when you come out of that claim, you've got to work that much harder. Yeah, no, most definitely. Obviously, it's going to be much more harder without the claim. But I just asked Mr. Ladd, obviously, to keep me in mind after I've done my claim. And you know what I'm doing? I've done well for him at the moment. So I'm really grateful for the opportunities. That horse was trying to break a world record today, cold fact. It nearly broke the course record last time out over this uh, classic 1,200 metres. It was only, I think, uh, a fraction of a second outside the course record. So today, uh, did it appear to you that the horse was going to come right back to you, that uh, you were going to make up the ground? Yeah, yes. So obviously, looking at the weights and everything, and obviously comparing the field which she took on when I rode her, and she won the first time, comparing it to this field, I thought cold fact would be the horse to beat. And obviously, as it was clear, uh, just sort of like just made my way through and then as I just notched up closer and closer I could feel that I had much more horse than the other horse had and then obviously finished off much more well. I wanted to ask you about uh, coming up from Natal, from the Natal Academy to come up to Joburg because that's what you're based up here now. What the difference is riding in races because in Natal there's very few tracks that are testing. They used to have Clearwood which was a testing track where you used to be able to find um, a lot of testing races. Now it's not gravel and there was hardly any racing at Scottsdale to be fair whilst you were there. What are you finding it like to race at these tracks with long straights where you've got time to work on your horse and that? How are you finding it? You know, I actually like Joburg much more than Devon, I'd say. And obviously, I got my first win over here uh, down the Val mm, straight. So right, yeah. I'm really enjoying it over here. And obviously, the winners do come. And they're not as co coming as fast as I was when I had the claim for. But I'm um, really hoping that this month things can change and obviously get more winners. Well, it's a very mature ride by you. You didn't lose hope and you made up the ground quickly and you won going away. So congratulations. No, thank you very much. I've got a lot of faith in the filly and obviously she's a very hard ride to ride her some other mornings at track and yeah. she is quite hard to ride. But I am really grateful that I got partnered with her. Well, keep it going. Well done to you. Thank you, sir. And a big thank you to Mr. Laird, to the owners. Uh, obviously for another great opportunity on this filly and a big thank you to the academy, to my family and to my sponsors winning from. Well done to you. Thanks sir.
We've got the colours of the Irish flag there, if you didn't know that, the green, the white and the orange. Come in, Alec. Uh, congratulations to you. Um, you mentioned to me, I, I said to you, what, what are the chances? You said you've got a decent chance here. Yeah, look, at the, at the weights, you know, um, I, had, I had a lot of respect for the favourite, but she, um, she obviously she went a bit fast and that suited us, you know. Mm. Uh, our filly used to do that. and and. <laughs> The first well, I remember that first run. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was an odds-on favourite in that race, yeah. and that ran into extinction because I think uh, everyone said, "Where did you come from? You won by eight lengths that day." She surprised us. Yeah, she. I mean, she went. I thought she'd be green, but she came out the gates and she just ran away with um, with Joshua in that day. Um, and then the first time Manisela rode, he, he got it to settle. I, I thought I was, I was actually. Uh, was was unhappy with him because he was at the back of the field, but yeah. she came through like a rocket that day, yeah. and um, and she's done again today. That's I mean she she obviously better if you can settle a horse and and finish off like that. So we got it right. And her last run we took a chance in a big race, a uh, strong field. Yes, it was. And strong. it wasn't such a bad run actually because it was very strong and she was out of the weights and back in a handicap without any penalty. Um, it happened. Happened. At Ten to one or eight to one. It was a good price. Uh, yeah, she shortened in the betting. Yeah, I see, yeah. but uh, somebody worked it out at the weights. I suppose um, I'm very happy for Dennis. He, he said his first three-time winner was was Starcoin the other day, and now he's had oh. he's got another three-time winner in in his own colours um, with, his, uh, with his own horse, and uh, we've got others knocking at the door. So, well, this is a de definitely above average uh, filly uh, going places. Uh, we'll win a few more. Yeah, I don't think she ends. Yeah, she's got she's she's got quite crooked legs, but touch wood, she stays sound. Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations. Nice day for you. The other one ran well earlier on for Suzette. Good second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looking forward to having a winner for them, but it's um, just eluding us at the moment. Yeah. We'll getting, get there. Getting closer. Thanks. We'll, get there. well, congratulations, Alec. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Alec Laird. There with the winner of the penultimate race, Rockets Red. They had to be given a strong chance off the weights today. Um, you know, you compare. You compare the, the, the prices of horses, even as we, we, we honed in on, on top sale earlier on with total protection, there was a big disparity in the price, and sometimes the prices don't necessarily tell you about the horse's chances.